Hey guys, I'm just heading over to the Lumberjack show. I don't know what, what's wrong with this Polaroid cube. I had it on charge for a good couple hours when I got back to my uh, hotel and I don't know, it's saying that it's not even charged. So I don't know what's going on. So I'm just going to record until uh, it dies and then try and charge it overnight and hopefully get back to doing videos tomorrow. When I head up to Lubbock. Alright, so I'll see you at the show. Hey, I like the A. What a beautiful day today was. What do you guys think? Yeah. Oh, good one, right? Beautiful Definitely. Day. Who was in Acadia National Park today? Alright, who went to Sand Beach? There we go. So beautiful. Who went swimming? Uh, how was the water? Yeah, I got, I got one of these. Like, uh, that ain't bad though. Alright, we'll welcome you guys to the Great Maine Lumberjack Show. My name is Ethan and I'll be taking good care of you guys tonight. So this is our last show of the season. So yay! So there we go. So I need you guys to be like extra, extra loud tonight, okay you guys? Because this is it. I start school tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. So we gotta like have this party going tonight, okay? Perfect. Alright, so before we get started you guys, we'll give you guys a quick intro of kind of some of the things you guys are gonna see tonight, okay? So you guys are going to see some underhand chopping, some obstacle pull relay, some log rolling, some disc stacking, axe throwing. We're going to see some uh, speed climbing and a whole lot more. How's that sound, you guys? Sounds good. All right. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. So before I can actually get started, I'm going to teach you guys a little bit some of the history about how some of these sports, some of the things you guys do. Who's here for the red team?
Hey guys, so I got everything straightened out with the cube. Uh, and it was the uh, memory card was just. It, it, I had an 8 gigabyte memory card in there, so I'm not surprised it filled up as fast as I did. But I just uh, stopped at Walmart here in uh, Trenton, or uh, I guess this is, is there Ellsworth, Maine. And uh, yeah, I was able to get a 32 gig, gigabyte one for, I don't know, like whole dollars. So I should be good to go the rest of the trip. So all I really have to worry about is the battery now. So I'm going to head over to the uh, Pet Cemetery house and then I'm going to get some uh, blueberry pancakes at a nice little uh, breakfast place on uh, Route 1. So I'll see you guys at the uh, Pet Cemetery house. Hey guys, I'm uh, about to make a turn for uh, the road where the house from Pet Cemetery is. Okay, Point Road. Yeah, I'm in the little town of uh, Hancock. Hmm, Civil War statue. I'm not sure if that's for 20th Maine or some other Maine regiment. I mean, the only famous one that I've ever heard of was 20th Maine and the, I forget the number, but uh, the one that all the mutineers that came over to the 20th uh, right before Gettysburg. I think it was the 2nd Maine. I could be wrong on that, but... Yeah, that's the only other main regiment I know about, just because, you know, that little connection to the 20th. Okay, so it should be a mile up from here. And from the looks of my GPS, it looks like it there might be a view of the water. I kind of remember that from the movie. I think it was, I think you can actually see water and uh, when they're moving in. Pretty sure you can see see water from this house. Yeah, looking like another beautiful day. A little bit warmer today, though. I think it, up in Lubbock, it's going to be like high 70s. But if there's a breeze, that'll help. Okay, so should be coming up. So I guess the um, the house for the Judd character. I guess it's not across the street. I don't know if that was a set house that they built somewhere or if that was just another house entirely. That's the magic of movies. You can have two locations in two totally different places but make it seem like they're right across the street from one another. Okay, so it should be coming up on the right. Yeah, that's the little... You can't really see, but the trees, but so many of these little, like, just like, I've been calling them, like, inlets and coves. Yep, there it is. There's the Crandall house. Yeah, that's the tree, I think, too. I could be wrong. Yeah, so, yeah, Judd's house would have been right over here. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure tourists do this all the time. Who actually lives here? It's probably a private residence. Wow. All right, well, let's just take a little look and get a couple pictures. I'm not gonna bother with the, the major camera. Yeah, I kind of remember that view from the movie. Yeah, and this, I guess, is where Judd's house would have been. But it's just another Cape Cod-style house. Okay, let's just get a couple pictures and get out of here. That's really cool. I remember the driveway being different. I 
if it was just an exterior shot and they just did some... They filmed other places. Definitely the house, but it just it looks slightly different. But you know, they did film that movie like that was back in the nineties, so who knows what's changed since then? And yeah, who knows how much uh, stuff actually changed for the movie? But pretty cool to see. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Obviously, this is somebody's house. Wish Judd's house was there. Uh, that house I found more interesting because it's more rustic. This is, you know, this one was more modern. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna head out and uh, I'm gonna head head to breakfast. Hey guys, I'm just uh, making a little side trip. It's uh, a little little preserve down here apparently. Kid, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just seeing uh, what the view looks like down here anything of interest. I'm sure it's another one of those amazing main views because it's it goes right to the, to the water. And I guess this is another inlet or a or a cove. I, I don't really know the difference. Attention gate closed. Okay, well never mind. Come inside and explore. Frenchman Bay Conservatory. Conservancy. I guess it's a little museum. Alright, let me back in here. We'll go take a look. It's in a book, Reading Rainbow. Exploration Center. Okay, let's go take a look. Take my camera along for this one. This is why I love travel. Taking little side trips. Stuff like this. Sorry. Hello. Thank you. Hmm. Title Falls. Interesting. Twenty Native American grave sites. There's seals and otter down there. Wow, wonderful sandy. That would be cool. Oh wow. Wow, that's really soft fur. Very cool stuff. That's just a cop. 
dolphin's room. All right, let's take a walk down. All right, I'll catch you guys when I get down. Yeah, I guess this is, they're doing active, they're doing work right now, so you can't actually go down here. But not a bad little view. It's actually not a bad picture with two mounds of dirt. Wish I could go closer to the water. All right, whatever. I got basically a day and a half in Lubbock to explore. Okay, time to go get some breakfast. See you later. Hey guys, about to get back on uh, Route 1 and uh, I got a bridge I'm going over, so I figured I'd get video of that. I guess they're doing road work. Three and a half miles to Chester Pike's Galley. That's where I'm having breakfast. What is this? Scooby National Scenic Byway. I guess this is a river, or like I said, it's either a river or an inlet or something else. I'm not really good with all the whole, I don't even know what you call it, topography maybe? I don't know if that's the term or not. Wow. Pretty cool view though. Okay. Catch you guys at breakfast, probably. Hey guys, just having breakfast. Alright. 
I'm going to finish eating. Very good stuff. Hey guys, I'm uh, taking a little side trip down to a uh, little park uh, called McClone Park. I guess I'm in a little township or town of Millbridge. I think this is the way I want to go to the park. Let me check the GPS. It's like four miles down this way. Oops, not parking. I just want park. That's not what I want. I'm gonna ask this lady. Excuse me! Is McClellan Park down that way? Yeah, keep going. On the left, okay. Thank you, have a good day. Okay, I wasn't sure. Because there was no sign to at the turn. That's one of my pet peeves about being a courier. Signs that, you know, there's one sign and then they don't post any more signs especially with businesses and like warehouses and stuff you never find shipping and receiving they give you an arrow at the entrance but then there's like a thousand docks why am I bitching and complaining about work when I'm on vacation in Maine is there a bridge down here too? really? let's see what this is all about Oh, it's just, it's just the lane, and it just, the name juts down into the, the water. Alright, more when I get to the park. Hey, guys. Huh, McClellan Park, George B. McClellan, I'm pretty sure that's the C Civil War General. Wow, I didn't, I thought he was from New York. I'm pretty certain he was from New York. I could be wrong. Wow, I wonder what connection he has to Maine. If it's the same George B. McClellan I'm thinking of, and I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is. I wonder how far of a walk it is down to the water. Um, where do you park here. Also, can you drive up here? I sure hope I'm not driving where I'm not supposed to be. Okay. Well, this looks like it might be a bit of a bust because I don't know where I'm supposed to park. And this is driving me crazy, this stupid spray. Alright, well, obviously you can't park here, so... Let me just turn around. this was going to be more of a major park. The signs said it. The signs made it seem that way. Where do you park? Oh, parking. Wow, I'm like blind. Let me just take a look. 
Let's see what this parking situation is like down here. Let's see how close this gets me to the water. Just walk over and take some pictures. SUV. Wow, I really was expecting more. All right, well, I'm going to walk down to the water. I'll catch you guys down there. Hey guys, just walking down this little trail. Oh wow, cool. Yeah, I don't think this is like a major park. I think it's just more like for hiking and camping. Because, as you can tell by this trail, there's not really much to it. But, this is worth, this was worth coming down here. Wow, there's one picnic table on some rocks. Oh my god, wow. See, this is why I love travel. You take little side trips like this and you end up getting a view like this. I mean, this is freaking amazing. Got boats out there, those are probably lobstermen. Not working, because it's a Monday. Of course, I'm not working. I'm on vacation. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay, gonna take some pictures and then head on to Wild Blueberry Land. Catch you guys later. Hey guys, I'm on my way out. Back to uh, Route 1. Just waiting to see if that lady that gave me directions is still out so I can thank her. Glad I made this little detour. It's what, like I said, it's what I love about traveling. You go to find little off-beaten places like that. Uh, this lady was gave me directions is out. I don't think I'm gonna see her again. I probably passed her by now. She's farther up. I think it was like right after I turned onto this road, I saw her pretty much. Ah, here she is. Oh, it's a guy now. Hello again! Hi. Thank you for the directions. Sure. Very beautiful view over there. Yeah, thank you. That was nice. Okay, see you guys at Wild Blueberry Land. Hey guys, I'm never going to get to Wild Blueberry Land. By the time I get there, they'll be closed. I had to stop because I had to get a picture of that. That's awesome.
Yeah, this is like the whole ride up here. It's been nothing but views like this. Okay, wild blue blueberry land. See you guys there. Hey guys, I'm uh, about a mile from uh, wild blueberry land. I I didn't stop. It was hard. There's a couple uh, interesting things I wanted to get pictures of, but I just had to keep moving along. <clears throat> Should be coming up uh, on the right hand side. About half a mile. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still sound like I have a head cold. It's I don't, I don't know if I have to take something for it or what, or if it's just gonna go away once the summer ends. There it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how well you can see it. Hold on. Hold on. We're almost there. <laughs> it's a giant blueberry! That's amazing. Found this on uh, Atlas Obscura. And now I'm here. Enter here. <laughs> they got, they got like giant buoys painted uh, like blueberries. That's funny. Are they even open? Well, regardless, I'm just here to get pictures. Oh, it's a service entrance. Um, I guess I can just park over here. <laughs> Wild blueberry land. Yeah, I got a, well, it's Monday today, so I got a feeling it's not going to be, be very busy up this way. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Just going inside to take a look. Hello. How are you today? Good.
Okay, so it's just blueberry themed gift, gift shop. That's pretty cool. What is this? Oh wow, they got a mini golf course too. Like I've said many times before, mini golf is only fun if you have somebody to mini golf with. Looks like it's just a nine hole course. Okay, I'm gonna keep on moving up to Lubbock. I'll catch you guys when I get up there or if I see something of interest. Bye. Hey guys, still at Wild of Blueberry Land. I got some uh, some snacks. I guess these are these are uh, blueberry jelly beans, which. You know, I, I don't mind the occasional jolly bean, and yeah. why the hell not, I'm in Maine. But uh, the real reason I stopped was to get some of this. Blueberry pie a la mode. And I also got some uh, maple syrup lemonade. Which, never had that before, so I figured, what the hell, I'll try it. Let's give this a try. This looks really good. Hold on, I gotta get the, gotta get the, 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 uh, pictures out of the way. Dark 
I had um something similar to this. It was um I don't think it was blueberry. I can't remember what it was exactly. Maybe blackberry or something at uh, Joe's Crab Shack. That's the last time I've had any any kind of pie all mode, but good lord, this is good. Handcrafted beverage, beverages from Portland, Maine. Uh, <laughs> it definitely smells like my maple syrup. It's like somebody poured maple syrup into uh, like a kind of a plain lemonade. It's not bad. Yeah, that's really very interesting. Huh, maple syrup and lemonade. Only in Maine, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to finish my uh, my pie and then keep on heading up to Lubbock. See you guys later. Hey guys, just coming through. Little town of Jonesboro. No, not that Jonesboro. Yeah, apparently there's a Jonesboro, Maine. Swamp Yankee Bar... Dar God damn it, I just had pie go for some barbecue. Although, you never know. With it being up north. Rock Plus State Park. Okay, I think we're going there. Yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go there. Just because I'm on vacation and... What else do I have to do? Alright, I'll catch you guys when I get to uh, this park. Hey guys, just making the turn to Ro I guess I guess you pronounce it Roke or Roke Love Speech. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna say Roke. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, feel free to laugh at me. But uh Roke Bluffs Beach and uh Bluffs. I think there's an overlook and there's a beach down here. It's like two miles down. Talk about your homestead right there. Wow, that's a nice view. I've been seeing a lot of that, like, reddish, uh, I guess they're flowers or weeds of some sort, but I'm not sure what they are exactly. Kind of cool looking. I would imagine it's uh, probably unique to, to Maine. Oh yeah, this goes this goes right out into right out to the water. According to the GPS. I get there and there there's no water left. Like uh when I was in Iceland and uh there was this whole section that uh I guess it dried up or or something. It was supposed to be under it was supposed to be actual water and it was nothing but miles and miles of beach. Which is kinda crazy. I still can't get over that because of the winters they have. You'd think like you know, in the summers it'd be underwater because of all the snow melting from the winter. But, that's nature for you. I think I was probably like, you probably noticed. It's <laughs> like, what the hell is that guy wearing? Yeah, I've been having had a lot of people comment on the, the cube. Like I said, probably because it's not a GoPro, it probably looks different to them. Oh, wow. That's... That's pretty damn awesome. That's one hell of a view. That's an interesting statue. I wonder if I have to pay to park. Alright, let me just go. Let me keep going down. Let's see where this... I 
Hi. How you doing? Ow. Oh. Yeah, usually the best uh best highlights for my trips are uh the unplanned ones. I'm going to that lumberjack show last night. That was definitely uh not planned at all. Um Road ends half mile. Well, it doesn't say anything about it. this is private or anything, so I'm just gonna see where this goes and then I'll turn around. I'm just curious what the view is over here, or if it's if you can actually see it from the road. Look office. Huh. Wow. Yeah, that's very, that feels very much like Maine, that kind of view. The rocks. Yeah, this is the kind of beach I like the most. I don't like your, your typical, you know, standard cliche, you know, tourist beach. Or you got thousands of people, you know, laying on top of each other. I like stuff like this. During, you know, the slower times of the year when, like I said, there's not a thousand tourists all crowded up on one another. Alright, I'm gonna, well, on, let me keep going, because I want to see where this, end, where this ends. It's probably gonna be like a, just a straight dead end, and I'll have, to, I'll have to back up all the way to back to that beach. That'll be fun. Yeah, I, I don't know if I should come this far. Probably not. Oh, what is this, a marina? I'll just keep on going, right into the water! Ah! Wow. I got serious deja vu right now of uh, the time me and Evan and uh, Johnny from uh, Cape Cod, uh, we went out driving one night and <laughs> we came to uh, some beach, I forget, I forget what it was called, but like I remember I got out of the car so fast that I forgot to put the parking brake or something on, and Evan was still in it, and the car started rolling backwards. It was, it was pretty funny. This kind of reminds me of that, uh, that little beach that we, we found. It was up in Hyannis or somewhere, somewhere up past Hyannis. It was, we just were driving around one night, and, uh, yeah, it was a good time. So, anyway, I'm gonna, I'll catch you guys when I get back to that, that beach. Okay, so in case anyone from the, uh, Maine Department of Agriculture, Conservation, and Forestry Bureau is watching this video. I'm at R Roke Bluffs uh, Beach right now, and I am paying the fee. One. Glad I stopped at Wild Blueberry Landing. Got some. Got a snack. Otherwise, I'd be putting in a twenty, and I don't know how it would get changed. Four, five, six. There you go. Actually, have a warden or whoever on uh, somewhere that checks. Wait, how would they know regardless? You don't get a pass or a sticker or anything. Whatever. Who cares? I'm just, yeah. You know. Okay, let's go take a look. I'm gonna need my camera for this one. Alright. Am I filming? Yes. Oh, god damn it. Hey guys.
<laughs> that video I just took of me um, paying the, the toll, <laughs> it, um, I was face. I took my cube off and I put it back on facing my head. Hey guys, I just got the uh, the cube. It's on the the dash. I'm headed up to uh, Cutler. Uh, as I mentioned before, a friend of the family, Jeffrey Robinson. Uh, he uh, he passed through there when he was up on a motorcycle trip with uh, I forget when he said it was. It was a while back. He said to stop through and I figure what the heck, you know. I'm just making my way up the Lubbock anyway and it's on the way, so I figured I'd swing by. It's been a really good day so far today. Just taking my time. If I see anything of interest, I just go and check it out. I love that stuff, travel. Anyway, I'll catch you guys when I get a little bit closer to Cutler. Hey guys, I'm just coming in through uh, the old, old town of Machias, Maine. Gates House Museum. Eh, that's tempting, but... Um, oh man, there's a fort down here. Really? <laughs> oh, that's really tempting. <laughs> no, I gotta keep moving on. I gotta go off the cobbler and then head over to Lubbock. That little falls park along the Lubbock. Yep, Lubbock, 28 miles. I passed the McDonald's uh, a couple minutes back. It was uh, it wasn't actually a McDonald's. It was a McDonald's cafe. I've never seen that before. I'm wondering if that's just something in this area or for more rural places. I've never seen a McDonald's cafe. Very interesting. Seen a lot of those, Irving. Seems to be the big gas uh, station up this way. I haven't seen any sheets. I haven't seen Wawa. So, uh, Machias River Brewing Company. Yeah, I don't have time for that, unfortunately. Uh, they're probably closed anyway. It's a Monday. Uh, another bridge, another view. I haven't gotten sick of these views yet. They're just amazing. That's pizza. Had that last night. It was okay. I've had much better. It's definitely no Zoe's. In uh, Mash Cape Commons on Cape Cod. Alright, guys, I'm gonna. I'll catch you when I get into Cutler. Hey, guys, just another interesting view coming through here. Yeah, I'm coming up the road for uh, Cutler. I think this is just the outskirts of Chias. I'm not sure if this is another town. That's the road work. The guy's just filling a little, little hole in the side of the road. That's pretty funny. Oh my god, that pretty good view of that on the, the cube. Down East Sunrise Trail. I haven't seen signs for that along uh, Route 1. I guess they got different trails along here. 
Naval Station Cutler. There's a oh yeah, there is a naval. There's a, that's the gray area that I saw on the GPS. I was thinking about going to it. Uh, probably not a good idea. It's probably military only. That explains what that is. I was wondering. Wow. Some little river. I'm not sure what it, which one this is. That's a barber shop right there. That's funny. I wonder if it's active. Yeah, it is active. There's hours and everything. Huh. How about that? Well, I already got my hair cut, so... I don't need to stop... Stop there. Beeping sound. It's probably recording, but I'm just I'm not at that point where I'm 100 certain when I press the button that it's gonna be uh, playing. Or it's gonna be recording. Oh, maybe this maybe this is the road work. Oh, they're spraying the, the road. Probably not a good idea to drive on drive on this line, given uh, this is a rental that I'm in. Alright, I got a bit of a way to, ways to go, guys. I'll catch you when I'm closer to Cutler. And maybe the Navy base. I don't know if, uh, I'll see if, uh, the, there, you can actually go down to it or not. Alright. Hey, guys. Just getting some more, uh, video. Yeah, I'm in much better shape with, uh, the 32 gigabyte card. When I was at the beach, uh, earlier, it was, it was definitely around, um, it's like around 25 gigabytes left, so much better than the uh, 8 gig that I had in the uh, camera, the cube before this. I don't know about the Navy base. I guess I'll find that out once I get closer. I mean, it is down here, so. Um, got another view. Wow. I wonder if people that live here, like, all their lives are like. I mean, this these views, they probably just are ordinary to them. For someone like me who travels, it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's not like other world, other world the amazing, like when I was in Iceland and I was out driving around before I went to the Westman Islands, but it's amazing nonetheless. I'm sure after time, you know, if you live somewhere long enough, like, you know, we lived on Cape Cod for a while. And like, after a while, it, it was all ordinary because we had lived there for so long. But this, you know, this is all like, this is all kind of new to me. You know, it's, it's New England, but it's, it's definitely Maine. It's got that Maine feel to it. For certain, for sure. Wow. I guess I'm right up against the... I think, I don't know this for certain, but I think this is Englishman's Bay. I think I saw that on a map somewhere. Yeah, and like this kind of like land, like, like once again, it kind of reminds me of like the Pacific Northwest for some reason. It's got that, you know, Oregon feel to it. That's that's kind of surprising to see all the way out here. I wonder if they're coming, coming from the Navy base. That could be. Wow, that's awesome right there. I 
Okay. Hey guys, just entered, uh, just passed over the town line for Cutler. My GPS, actually, I didn't realize I even did this. It, it's set to go to, I guess, the gate of the Navy base. So, we'll see where this takes us. much of a town, it's more like just like a county or township. It's not even a village. As the late Nina Struthers would say, check a look. I keep remembering it. She used that. <laughs> oh, wow. That's. Now that's amazing right there. Wow. Yeah, that's gotta be for the, the military base. I would imagine. That's really cool. Gonna have to stop and get pictures of that. Very cool. stretch of road. Got some good pictures. Yep. When you travel, always take your time and take the long way. If, if it's still, if you're still gonna make it to your destination, Still gonna make it to your destination, and it's a longer way. Go that way, because you end up seeing stuff like this. Wow, that's amazing. Postcards descend. Maybe uh, if you're watching this video, you actually got you actually got a postcard. All 
Alright. I'll catch you guys if uh, there's an actual town I pass through. Hey guys, I am. Um, just stopped to get a picture of this view. And uh, there's these black bars around these plants and whatnot. I'm wondering if somebody, the person who lives here, put these up because he got sick of people stopping and taking pictures. Well, he didn't take into account that I can just get out of my car when nobody's home, walk around them, and still get a picture of uh, that view. Anyway, just something funny that I noticed. Okay, on we go. It's Cutler. Hey guys, just past the uh, sign for the town limit of Cutler. I guess it's like the sign I, I passed a while back was probably just the county or village or whatever. Whatever they, they call it up here. But uh, this is the actual. I'm actually entering the actual town now. <coughs> Oh wow, that's that's amazing. Oh, that's just freaking awesome. Wow. That is awesome. Little River Lobster Co. I wonder if they got lobster. Uh, I'll wait until I get to look back. Wow, that's pretty cool to see. I gotta stop somewhere and take pictures. Where's the post office? It's a little, it's just a tiny little town. It's obviously just a little fishing, like a fishing village. Or a lobster village. Is this the post office? No, that's the firehouse. And that is the post office. But it doesn't look like anybody's here. Let me just pull in here. Monday through Friday. Nine to... Really? Only until 1 p.m.? Wow, that's really small. Alright, I'm gonna get some pictures and then I'm gonna head out to Lubbock. Hey guys. So I guess this is just the parking lot for a little Lobster Co. or... What was it called? Little River Lobster Co. I don't know if this is private property or if it's... Is, but I'm just getting some pictures and then I'm beyond my way. Yeah, this type of set of scenery. I wish I had a some decent kind of long range lens. Then again, like really good percent of my pictures come from my phone just from all the filters and whatnot on them wow man oh man Yeah, I think I'll just jump in. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I just want to say I would consider it, but it's in my bag and in the car or the SUV. Wow, freaking gorgeous. 
say today. Even with it being in the 80s. Oh man, I could stay here forever. It's a perfect day for pictures. But I gotta keep moving on. So, I'll see you guys in Lubbock. Hey guys. Uh, entering Lubbock. Finally. And of course, it's just another amazing view. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's keep on rolling. Oops. Awesome. Very cool stuff. I actually, um, <laughs> it's funny, I had the radio on, I was just, you know, scanning through, just trying to look for classic rock stations, and I actually got uh, one for uh, Canada, because uh, they did the weather report and they did it in Celsius. Apparently it's going to be 14 Celsius tomorrow, whatever, whatever that means. I don't know, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. It's supposed to be pretty. It's supposed to be warm the next couple of days. Like uh, I know down in Bangor, it's going to be up up in like the up around 90. So, but uh, there's no humidity, so it shouldn't be too bad. I've been. <clears throat> I went to Knobles one day when it was like 90 something and. Uh, there was no humidity, and uh, I just stay in the shade. It was it was bearable, and I'll be doing a Stephen King tour and doing some driving during that that day. So that should uh, it shouldn't be too bad. All right, I'll get you guys when I uh, head into uh, downtown Lubbock. Well, there's not really a downtown; it's just the town of Lubbock. All right, hey guys, I'm coming into. Uh, Lebec or Lubick. I don't know the exact pronunciation of it. I've just been saying Lebec, Lebec, but it could be Lubick for all I know. It's definitely Canadian or uh, French. So, West Quadi uh, Lighthouse. Yeah, I'm gonna either go down there later on this evening or probably tomorrow. Wow. Yeah, this definitely feels like, like Maine, and definitely feels like uh, a little bit like Canada too. Yep, yep coming into town. going right to the hotel, but I'm also looking for the post office, because I got postcards to send. Becky's Seafood. <laughs> That's funny. Smoked Salmon Sticks. Wish that was open. I would try those. Wow. Look at that view. Yep, That's Canada. That's That literally, what I'm looking at is Canada. That's amazing. That is, I think that's the school Danny's Charter Bart Tours <laughs> to Canada. That's funny, it's very funny. All right, I want to go straight here. I think the post office is somewhere maybe on this road or I'm trying to remember. 
in on the wharf. That's where I'm going. That's my lodgings for the one and a half days I'm here. Okay. Excuse me. Johnson Street. Sun Porch Industries. And we got a septic tank truck. Wouldn't that be something? I get all the way up here and I crash into a septic tanker truck. That would be a shitty situation. <laughs> Oh, a shitty situation. Look at that view. Oh my god, I picked the, I picked uh, the perfect place to stay up here. Wow. Only there's no parking. That's not good. Um. Yeah, where am I supposed to park? Well, wow. Okay, guys, I gotta figure out this parking situation, so. Hey guys, I'm, uh, at my, back at my room. I, uh, had some dinner, just working on getting some stuff uploaded. Gotta love hotels with high speed internet. Yeah, it, it took two hours for, for, um, my video from yesterday to upload to YouTube, but, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm on vacation, what do I care? <laughs> And look at this view. Yeah, I'm heading over to uh, West, I think it's Quaddy Head Lighthouse to uh, check that out. And then I'm turning in for the night because I've got a long day tomorrow. I'm hopefully going to get up and see the sunrise. And yeah, so let's head on out. All right, that's almost done. And I got day three already pretty much edited. I just gotta add whatever I shoot up at Quaddy Head. And then, yeah, so let's head on out. Really nice hotel, right on the water, really quiet. Hopefully nobody takes my parking spot while I'm gone. Because that's a really good spot, right on the corner. Alright, wait, get ready for this turn. You seagulls better not be saying mine all night long when I'm trying to sleep. But I'd probably sleep right through it anyway. Wow. Okay. I'll see you guys, hey guys on the way on the road to Quaddy Head. Wow. That's awesome. This is the perfect end to a very long day. A lot of exploring today. I was thinking about doing some walking around at night and doing uh, some night photography, but I'm probably just going to go back to the hotel after this, upload today's videos, and just, you know, turn in early, because I'm going to try and get up before sunrise and try and go down, probably go back down here. Long day tomorrow. I'm gonna go into Canada. The clerk at the post office uh, was saying that uh, you can 
they will search you sometimes, so I'm gonna make time for that. Yeah, I don't care. It's like I'm on vacation. If it takes like an hour, I don't really care. It's no big deal. It's a ama an amazing place. <laughs> it's like. You want to search my car? Go right ahead. This is like the most. This is an amazing place to be to get uh, searched by customs. They probably will search me because you know I'm by myself. Okay, I'll catch you guys down at the light up. Amazing. I gotta get out and get pictures of the phone. <laughs> That's too good not to get pictures of. I don't think I have to really worry about cars coming. Not even to the lighthouse yet, and I'm already kind of speechless. <sighs> All right, I'm filming the rest of the way. I don't really care if this is the last video before the the cube dies. I really wish that they they had cube this cube and like a six or seven hour battery, like five or six hours battery in one of these would be amazing. Wow. Jeez, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Got like another mile to go to the White House. standing at that statue that or there's a rock that says you are at the easternmost point of the United States well if not I'll make a video and post it wait I'm I'm making a video right now <laughs> I'm not making much sense <laughs> it's been a long day But it's been a great day. Seen, seen some amazing sights. Took some amazing little detours. I can't believe, like, I'm like just amazed, utterly amazed that I'm at, I'm at the easternmost point of the United States. I mean, I'm sure millions of people have been here. You know, as tourists, but it's so great, you know, to be in such a unique and special place. Maybe someday I'll be in the most, the westernmost point of the United States. I'd like to do that, to cross that off my bucket list or my checklist of places I've been to in the world. Wow. There it is. They rent, uh, they rent, they actually, you can actually stay in there, and, um, you can, there's a couple other cottages, I think that one's 
That one right there, you can uh, rent as well. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yep, there it is. Alright, just gonna cut. Wow. More fees to pay. Here you guys go. I have an extra buck on me. Hello. I am at the easternmost point of the United States. Where's the rock? There's, there's supposed to be a rock here. For It says westernmost point. around here. Ah, this is it. Over here. That's ah, too bad. I missed the sun going down. Here's the rock. Wow. Easternmost point in the United States. Very cool. Very good end to the, the day. Okay. Wait, let me see if I can make a phone call. I doubt I can. Yeah, there's... I seriously doubt this will go through. Hey, it's actually ringing. I can't believe this. Hi. Hey, guess where I'm calling from? Yep, I'm sitting on it right now. For real? Yeah, there's a there's a statue, uh, a stone statue here. Oh, that's so neat. Yeah, it's a. Oh yeah, definitely. It's the, definitely a good end end to the day.